What is up, everyone? This is Sorkies Around Zero, and it is a return of the Pirates vs. Ninja event for 2020. We are in version 1.60.0, so if you have yet to update your game, be sure to manually update it through Google Play or the App Store. Now, this event is one of the best events to ever come across PewDiePie's Tuba Simulator because there are so many useful items that you could have and you could get to use for a lot of room events or just decorations for your room. So let's go ahead and load up the game, and here we are. That we only have a total of 10 days to be able to enjoy this event so let me go tell you what we have in store for this event first things first is that we have two new masks to get if you already gone the first six masks you're going to be able to get mask number seven and mask number eight if you have yet to actually get the first six masks then of course it's going to be completely random you're only able to get five rewards for the actual event before it actually caps off so this is going to be a great time to actually start playing the game to be able to collect all the rewards beforehand so that you could actually catch up with all the rewards that we're going to get soon and once you already get your magical rewards, then of course it's going to be a random item from any of the Pirates vs. Ninja pack that you're able to obtain. So be sure to do your quest, collect sponsor eagles, collect the tokens in Puggle, and as well as the tokens in Craniac. And since I've already played the game earlier, I'll be able to get the mask reward number 7 to show you guys in the next video. So on to the customization for your tuber that we have mainly to choose from. With the affordable items, I'm pretty sure there's nothing right here. Nope, there's not. And at least for the shirts, at least we have ourselves a pretty collection of three shirts to get for your actual wear. That you could be a ninja or you could be a pirate. Which one do you choose? But let's go ahead and go to the next one with the hairstyles. That for the first six masks, we got ourselves pretty much the skull. We have ourselves the pirate mask and as well as pretty much a shinobi type of deal with a little bit of armor on top top you have yourself the red mccall with the pirate hat you have yourself a hidden ninja in the shadows and then last mask for now you have yourselves a treasure chest then for the mask you could actually get pretty much you have the four right there just mainly pirates and ninjas very cute very nice indeed i know i said cute but you never know you never know you could be a cute pirate who are we to judge I'm pretty sure last one I was a ninja, so let's go ahead and do it with pirates. We'll go ahead and be a pirate for this one. At least I can wear my glasses right there too. And onto the prop section, now this is actually very nice to get. You can have an eye patch, you can have the ninja mask, and as well as that you can have glowing red or white eyes for your actual tuber face. That this is actually very perfect for the Halloween event coming up soon. As I said before, this event has so many different options and so many different things you could actually get to actually customize your room and actually be a part of it too. This is why it's one of the best events you could actually partake in. Then for the chairs, that we have ourselves some planks or we have ourselves a dragon's mouth. Then for the keyboards, we have ourselves a map or we have ourselves a golden plated type of keyboard right there. It's pretty much made out of gold. And for the desks, that we have ourselves one with a shinobi underneath, or we have ourselves a captain's desk, or a cabin desk, however you want to call it. But anyways, since we're going with pirate, I'm going to choose that one. And I already have ourselves pretty much a keyboard right there, so that's pretty perfect for the theme. Then for the monitors, we have ourselves pretty much a dragon scroll that glows, or we have ourselves a cannon that points at us. That's also animated too on the fuse. And we have two new floorings, of course, that you're able to get. One of them is pretty much light wood, and then the other one's dark wood. So the light wood would be for the dojo, and then for the dark wood would be for the cabin. And whenever I say cabin, I mean like a pirate's cabin or captain quarters type of deal when it comes to a ship. And for the wallpapers, you have yourselves a dojo type wallpaper, and then you have yourselves the ship wallpaper right there too. Now it looks like that we're inside a pirate ship. And the music you're listening to would be Shinobi right there. That you have two songs to choose from. You have Shinobi or All Sails Out. Which personally, my favorite is All Sails Out for out of the two right there. And now onto the shop items that you're able to obtain. That we have ourselves a pile of gold right there. Mainly a lot of gold coins. And then for the next item, we have ourselves pretty much rocks on the ground. And one of them is very, very nice, especially the fact that you could use it for decorating the ground floor right there. One of the best items you're able to get too. Then you have yourself some barrels. Simply put it, just barrels to keep all your rum and all the good stuff. Then we have ourselves some docks or piers, however you want to call them. They're made out of wood, you can make bridges, you can make yourselves beds with them. It's just another great item. Let me tell you, a lot of these items are very, very practical for a lot of room events. Like a pile of bones, especially for dark themed room events right there. Then we have ourselves pretty much a pretty much a cobblestone wall right there. 
very decorative for a garden or anything like that. Then for the next item, this is pretty much the holy grail of a lot of room events. Especially that if you want to make a lot of water or pools, here you go. You better collect them, because if you don't now, then you're going to have to wait till the Pirates vs Ninja event comes back. So once again, this is for the event to be able to get a lot of great items for your room events and decoration purposes. So better get it right now. Then we have ourselves more posts. When posts, I completely forgot what they're actually called, but you can just make yourself a raft with this one, and especially that we have ourselves some bamboo. Look at that, nice little bamboo for added decorations for a pond or a river. And especially with rivers, here are some waves to complement the actual water right there. One of the best things to do, especially if you want to make yourself a beach type of event. Then we have ourselves the pretty much a wooden dummy right there. Just a training dummy. What else can you call it? I have no idea what else to actually call it because I completely forgot on the top of my head. But in any case, we have ourselves some blue little birds. They are also animated. You're just going to have to wait till they actually move. I'm pretty sure they're animated. And let's see here. Come on. There you go. It actually moves. It's animated. It just takes a bit. But... And other than that, another cute little bird to actually have for your collection. And then we have ourselves rafts. <laughs> I know I said rafts earlier with the other one, but you can complement it with this one too, or you can make another bridge. Just anything you can do with it, here it is. Especially when you put it on the water, as I said earlier. Then we have ourselves a window right there. Now it feels like you're actually in either a submarine or an actual, pretty much a ship itself. Then for the next item, we have ourselves a little bit of a ninja star right there. A shuriken? Is it a shuriken? I think so. It's not a kunai, but I guess it is a shuriken. Anyways, that you can put it all over the wall, so if you have yourselves a battle with the ninja, then there you go. Then we have another pile of gold, and it's more pronounced right there. And I believe one of them has Stefano in the background, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it looks like it, but in any case, there we have it. Just a lot of good stuff, and there you have it. Then we have ourselves a bit of a poster right there. Look at that. Just pretty much a simple poster just for added decorations, especially for a dojo type of environment. And then we have our seagull. Here's a seagull that actually calls. You're just going to have to wait for it to actually make a little bit of a call right there. Are you going to go call? Oh, yep, there you go. I thought I was going to time it correctly, but I guess I did not. Anyways, seagulls are very, very annoying pests, aren't they? And then we have ourselves pretty much more decorations for a garden type theme. Just so you have some rocks, you have some flowers, and there you have it. Next item on the list that we have ourselves a bottle that you could actually change it. That you have yourselves the alcohol bottle, then you have a broken bottle, and then you have a little bit of a note in a bottle. I was going to call it a ship in a bottle, but I was <laughs> I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of Animal Crossing right there. Anyways, a lot of message in a bottle with the DIY projects. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we have ourselves a lot of bamboo so that you could actually make yourselves hidden between the bamboo. Just more decorations, especially if you want to make an auto underwater theme, which is another great item to have. You just have the coral right there, or you have a rock, or you have a little bit of a underwater mushroom, sea mushroom, and then I believe this is a Nebi, or how you ever pronounce it. I cannot pronounce it at the top of my head. I know I played Animal Crossing, but I completely forgot how you pronounce it. I know it starts with an A, but anyways, an anonymy, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we have ourselves some lanterns that actually has some characters on there. That you have all this right there. If you could pronounce it or if you could actually decipher it for me, please let me know in the comment section. I know someone has already mentioned it beforehand, but I completely forgot that what they are called. Then we have ourselves a light source. Just pretty much a saber sword for whatever reason. I do not understand what this is for, but hey, more decorations for you. There you go. Especially that we have ourselves pretty much a crystal skull to add to the mix here. Next item, we have ourselves an anchor. Simply put it, we have an anchor that you could have for your ship. Then we have ourselves a fortune cat that's animated too. Just good fortune for all who is blessed. Then, last but not least, we have Captain Blackbeard right there. Just pretty much, he's just there, just to command all of the pirates to do his bidding. On to the Craniac items that you're able to get for the event itself. So let's go ahead and go all the way down here, just go through all this. I believe I'm on the wrong spot anyways, but it's too late for that. I'm scrolling all the way down with all the items I have maxed out. Just look at that, 255 all across the way, except for a few items here and there. I'm going to have to get on that whenever I get a chance to. But for the first Craniac item, we have ourselves pretty much a bamboo stalk. Just simply put it, the one that just changes color. Then for the next one, we pretty much have a wall. You can do whatever you want with this wall, especially if you want to make yourselves a house or a room. There you go, you have two windows to complement that. 
Then we have ourselves a little bit of a pirate ship that if you're just out to sea, it looks very cool. If it's just pretty much within an area that has giant things in there, I have no idea what you want to call it or what you want to do with it, but I know that you could actually complement it with a crack and tentacle right there. So if you want to make yourself a monster and then put a ship right next to it, then you could see that you do not want to mess with the sea. Then we have ourselves pretty much cutlasses onto the wall right there, just added decoration. Then we have a great white shark or a megalodon if you have the tiny tubers right there. This would be a huge megalodon when it comes to the mini city event now wouldn't it? Just have that wreak habit in a city. Then we either have Mount Everest or we just have a volcano. However you want to do that, there you go. Just pretty much different decorations to go with it. Then we have ourselves the blood sun or the blood moon. However you want to do it with your narrative, will it be blood has been shed in the night or in the day? But even then, very nice and very fantastic. Then we have ourselves a steering wheel for the ship. So if you want to make yourselves a giant ship, there you have it. You just have something to actually steer with so you don't crash. And of course you want to have your trusty anchor. Or if it's just a sunken ship, this is why it's all rusty. So that would actually be very nice for that. Then the next item is that we have a hidden shinobi, he just actually pretty much lurks in the shadow. There you go, he actually blends in, this is perfect camouflage for whatever you wanted to do with it. Then we have ourselves a pirate warrior right there with double cut lasses on a chain itself. Now that is actually be a force to be reckoned with right there. Then for the next item, we pretty much have ourselves just regular trees, just a birch tree. How do you ever want to call it? I really don't know what to really call this one. Then for the next item, that these are the four brand new items you're able to get. That we have one that's a cannon right there. A huge cannon at that. Just look at that. That is very, very impressive. You wouldn't want to fight someone with that huge cannon. They could actually blast across the way there. How many miles does it go? I have no idea. And then we pretty much have another pirate right there. Pretty much, what was his name? I keep thinking of Peter Pan right there. Captain Hook, and then I can't remember the other guy. That's just what it reminds me of, but he's not that old. He's just pretty much raring to go to fight. You just don't want to mess with him with that one. I believe someone actually mentioned that this was a Kunoichi right there. If I mispronounce it, I do apologize. But pretty much is that it is a female ninja right there. Ninja assassin, no less. You do not want to mess with them. Traditionally, they will actually do whatever it takes to actually get to the top. Look at that. Especially with the umbrella that has spikes on there and the samurai sword or pretty much a katana behind her so well back right there. And last but not least, I have no idea who this is. I really don't. I know there's probably some folklore behind this one, but I really don't know what to really call it. I wanted to call it a hive mine or hive mask, but we see that there's an instrument that he plays. Does he summon something out? I have no idea. Let me know in the comment section below when you know what this is. Now on to the pixelings you're able to get for the event and after the event has ended. These are the pixelings that are just made for the actual theme here. So let me go ahead and go to the eggs with eyes. For those who want to know where to find your pixelings, this is where you find it once you put them in your inventory. So you click on that, it will say pixelings, and then we're going to go all the way down because it's actually in alphabetical order. That we have ourselves Nobu right here. Nobu pretty much is a ninja Ubu right there. That has a pretty much a good subscriber boost in dark category and I have 19 of them they are the common pixeling then scrolling back up that we're gonna have ourselves a chest type of Pokemon or not Pokemon pixelings my mistake right there I'm keeping that in there it always reminds me of one or the other but in any case it would be mimic the uncommon pixeling that it gives you a boost in views towards gaming and a boost towards the lifestyle views too then scrolling further up, that we're going to have ourselves a Prisma form as well. That we have Prisma Nobu right here. Let me see. Alphabetical order, of course. That we have Nobu, the White Ninja. And it has a boost in subscribers towards the dark category of 36%. And then Mimic right on top. That we have a boost at 750 for gaming and views. And 600% in the views for lifestyle. And it is Pink Chest. Now we're going to take a look at the item packs that you're able to get for the event itself. The first pack will be the Pirate Pack. That the Pirate Pack contains 25 exclusive items. They don't give XP, but every pirate needs the tools to fit for their trade. 450 bucks to get a lot of items. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. That the first one pretty much is a gourd right there, and it's alcohol. What more can you say? Or if you want to be more friendly, friendly, then no alcohol is there at all. 
Then we have ourselves a pirate flag right there. Just a cool pirate flag. I should actually should start setting them down right there. Let's go ahead and do that before I forget and do not lose track there. But in any case, now we have ourselves pretty much a dead pirate in the ground right there. It's going to be in the ground unless you actually get the sand so that it will be in the sand itself. But even then, we have that, then we have ourselves a prisoner. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of people get the pack is because you actually get yourselves a prisoner right then and there. So there you have that one. Then we have ourselves pretty much an Outer Minds logo on the chest, or not really a chest, but the crate right there. But you're able to change it from one to the other. So let's go ahead and just leave the Outer Minds logo right there. Then, there you go. And they actually stack on top of each other. Then, we have ourselves a pretty much a map. A pirate's map. There's an X, marks the spot. Go ahead and go for that treasure. Next, pretty much we have ourselves wood with ropes on there. I do not know the actual name of it. It could be an obstacle of course for all we know, but all I know is that we have that to actually ascend all the way to the top if needed. Then we have ourselves a pirate's chest right there, or a treasure chest no less. Just pretty much has a lot of gold and treasure right there. Very nice indeed. Then we have ourselves a giant skull, which is actually very useful decorations. Or if you just want to hide them, there you go. Looks like there is no skull at all. Then we have ourselves a parrot, Pretty much a parrot, and it's not animated sadly, but if you want to have yourselves a parrot, there you go. Then we have ourselves a cannon, pretty much a simple cannon, but even though we have a Craniac cannon, this is the first cannon that we actually got, but I'm pretty sure you would want to upgrade to the new Craniac cannon. And last but not least, we have ourselves a mermaid. Pretty much a simple mermaid or a siren, you never know. It's the mysteries of the sea, I tell you. But I'll just put it on top of the crate right there, and there we have it. And the next item pack we're going to take a look at is the Ninja Pack, that it contains 25 exclusive items. They don't give XP like training does, but having the proper equipment is also vital. So what that item pack contains, that we have ourselves a bonsai tree right there. Just a simple bonsai tree. Very cute decorations to have. Then the next item, that we have ourselves another gore type of deal. Just simply put it, there you have it. There's not much more you can really do with it. Just add a decoration in the background. Then we have ourselves yin and yang as koi fish on a poster. Very nice and artistic. Then we have ourselves a scroll on the wall right there for a dojo. What does that say? I have no idea. If you know what it stands for, let me know. Then for the next item, we have ourselves a weapons rack right there with all of the samurai swords. Really samurai swords or katanas, however you want to call it. We're going to a dojo theme type of deal, especially that we have a lot of weaponry on the wall itself. It could be a gallery or it could just be another display case if you need to break it open and actually get it for emergencies. You never know. Then we have ourselves a scroll, pretty much a scroll on a podium right then and there. Then for the next one, we have ourselves a door to the dungeon or anything else that has to deal with doors. Where does it lead to? I have no idea. You tell me. Then for the next item, pretty much it is a huge item that it looks like a house. It could be a house. It may be a house. You could do whatever you want with that house, especially that it is also a good decoration spot if you just want to have pretty much a village going on right there. And again, it's very huge, but at least you could actually put items on top of it just as long as you don't actually reach the maximum height limit. Then we have ourselves ninja right there. Look at that. We have the ninja right there. We have a second ninja right there. And then we have a third ninja also on the wall right there. So they are raring to go for a fight if needed. On a side note, the plural form of ninja is still ninja. So I am trying my best not to say ninjas because that apparently that's not correct. But either way, if you're able to get to the top 100 ranks in the room events for the actual event itself, the theme event, it's get, it gets a little bit confusing to try to just trying to explain this even to myself right now. Just if you're able to get to the top 100 when it comes to a pirate versus ninja room theme event, then you'll be able to get yourself the actual trophy that has both the cutlass and as well as the shuriken right there. This is a trophy that you will be able to get. So once it actually it comes live, then try to get yourself to the top 100 rankings right there. Also on a side note, I keep forgetting to actually mention this for a very very long time. You notice that there are a lot of ninja here but not enough pirates. Well, apparently that if you were to go to the shop, if you were to go to search bar or pretty much the search tab, then you go for the tubers right there that you're able to actually get more pirates on your side. Look at that, level 19 and level 20, that you have yourselves the female pirate right there, and then for the other one you have the male pirate right there. 
again, I keep forgetting to mention this. For whatever reason, you're just able to buy them right off the bat even after the event ends. So I don't think they're going to actually do anything about that. I believe that they're just going to keep it right then and there. So if you want to have more pirates on your side, then just buy them from the shop. Even after the event ends, you can just buy as many pirates as you want. And not to mention that you saw the prisoner in the cage, you're able to get more of the prisoners right there. Even though they're not really prisoners, pretty much are just stranded people. You could actually put them on a deserted island, especially that you have a lot of pirates versus ninja event items, themes type of deal to work with. There you go, you could just make yourselves a stranded island with just pretty much an islander right there. Just however you want to do it. Again, this is one of the best event to ever come across PewDiePie's Tube Simulator. I cannot endorse this enough. There are so many things and so many items that you can get that you can use for not only this event, but for future room events in the actual just timeline when it comes to anything that has to deal with more themes. But there we have it, there's not much more to say other than just to look at pretty much Edgar and Maya in pirate costumes. So let's go ahead and just buy something and then take a look at it real quick. Let's look at that. Look at Maya right there. Maya is so cute and adorable. And then in the background we see Maya as a pirate and then we have Edgar as a ninja right there. So let's go ahead and exit out and go see Edgar. Come on now, let's see Edgar. Nope, come on. RNG, there we go. There's Edgar as a ninja right there. Isn't that adorable? But other than that, that is all I got to say for Pirates vs. Ninja. This is one of my favorite events and maybe your favorite too, but let me know in the comment section below whether or not if you actually like the Pirates vs. Ninja event for PewDiePie's Tube Simulator. What is your favorite item? What is your least favorite item? And in your opinion, what is the most useful item in the game when it comes to the actual event? Just this event in particular. Which one is the most favorited of your items or any item? Of that has to deal with Pirates vs. Ninja that you find the most useful for all of the actual game. Because my vote has to be the water and then the waves for a second runner up because you have to have something to complement the water. And once again, I cannot advocate this enough, just this is the best event to get a lot of items, to collect a lot of items for future rooms and future events that has to deal with PewDiePie's Tube Simulator. But there's nothing much more to show and not much more to say. And if I did forget anything, let me know in the comment section below because sometimes I just forget. After doing this for so many times, sometimes I tend to forget something here and there. At least I remembered about the pirates that you're able to get from the shop itself. But overall, this is going to be the end of this video. So if you enjoyed this video and found this video to be helpful, then be sure to give this video a like. If you're brand new to the channel and want to see more videos, content, and live streams in the future, then be sure to subscribe. And speaking of live streams, I'm going to live stream collecting all the Craniac items just to max it out all over again. And if you happen to have a Discord account and have yet to join my Discord server, feel free to join my Discord server so that you be notified within every video or update that I have posted on the server itself. Just because YouTube's notifications absolutely suck when it comes to live streaming and as well as video uploads. So the server will be there if you want to talk to people, talk to me, or just pretty much just have new friends to actually talk to within the server. There you have it. Just be sure to read the rules and info because you won't be able to actually officially join the server unless you read the rules and info. And once you read it, then be sure to type exclamation join, no spaces, just exclamation mark, J-O-I-N, then you'll be able to officially join the server. Is that if you're stuck in the welcome channel, that is because you have yet to actually do the command. But by doing the command, it just shows that you have read the rules and info and then you'll accept the consequences if you were to break the rules. That is there just to pretty much keep the trolls away. And the spammers too, but they get in there anyways, we'll just deal with them when it happens. And last but not least, feel free to leave down your PewDiePie Super Simulator username as well as the network you're in in the comment section below. Have more friends, have more followers, have more gifts, have more people join your network and have more fun playing every single day as they're going to continue to update this game every month. Last question, which side are you on? Are you on the pirate side or are you on the ninja side? Until then, have a great day everyone, I've been Sorokin090, and then as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.